The Russia probe is finished, but the fake bombshells just keep on coming. The Washington Post and the New York Times tonight breathlessly reporting that Robert Mueller complained to William Barr that the AG did not capture the full context of his report. It's enough to make you strap on a tinfoil hat and scream cover up. But if you scroll to the bottom of the articles, each paper admits special counsel emphasized that nothing in Barr's letter to Congress was inaccurate or misleading. Meeting another day, another piece of clickbait. Barr is scheduled to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee tomorrow and the House Judiciary Committee on Thursday. But this latest leak seems to indicate that someone in the Justice Department is trying to make those long days a little bit longer. So did William Barr cover for the president or is someone out to get him? Here with me tonight, former Trump campaign manager and Great America PAC senior strategist. It is Corey Lewandowski. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back, Kennedy. So uh, what's going to happen in the next couple of days with the AG? Well, I think Attorney General Barr is going to go to Capitol Hill and probably, like he has before, make the people on Capitol Hill uh, look like the clowns that they really are. By and large, right, this is a man amongst boys uh, up there. Attorney General Barr has been so smart. When you look at his confirmation hearing, when you look at times he's testified, he has showed that his resolve is unquestionable, that his ability to tell the truth is unquestionable, that his ability to make these members of Congress look like they're ill-prepared because they always are. And I think you'll see a lot more of that when he's in front well, of the House in two days. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, the House Judiciary Committee, and I went and looked up the, the number of members, Democrats and Republicans, who have JDs on that committee because it is the Judiciary Committee, and it is the vast majority of them. So these are all lawyers capable of putting together questions, why are they fielding them out to other lawyers as designated well, hitters? Well, well, because they're not very good. Look, look, when you're the best and brightest, you don't usually end up in Congress, just to be clear, right? This is what happens when most of these people are, you know, career public servants or, you know, look, I unfortunately had the great privilege of testifying on two separate occasions in front of the House Intelligence Committee, being grilled by members who are lawyers, and I can tell you, I would never hire any of those people who asked me those questions because they had no idea what they were talking about. Is the Attorney General right to push back as a condition of his testimony? I think the Attorney General is absolutely right to say, look, I'm willing to answer your questions that members of Congress, those who are duly elected, have the right to ask him as a co-equal branch of government, but not to shop that out to other attorneys who aren't accountable to anybody. Look, if you want to ask you know, the Attorney General a question, go run an election, win your election, come to Congress, serve on the committee and ask the question, why are you giving up your job responsibilities for someone else to do it? Uh, why didn't you fire the... Attorney General Jefferson Beauregard Sessions when the president asked you to. You know, Kennedy, it's like me trying to fire you. I have no say in these things. Like, I'm just a private citizen. It's like, hey, Corey, go fire Kennedy. We don't like our show today. I can't do that. More so, you know, no Thank more God. than anybody else could. Thank God, right? <laughs> and, and look, what, what really happened, Kennedy, it's important. Yeah, let me just give you the context. When I had the opportunity to speak with the president, he expressed the same frustration to me that he expressed to many other people on so many occasions that Jeff Sessions recused himself uh, from the investigation without ever notifying the president ahead of time. And if he would have known that, he was very clear he wouldn't have nominated him. And he said to me, what do you think? Just like the president asked so many people questions on their opinion on things all the time, and I gave him my opinion. That's what this whole thing all is right, about. So, and, and obviously this president operates very differently than any other president has operated in the past. And, and so much of that is weird, and it's hard for people who live in the Washington bubble to grasp. But what I take from this is... The president says bat poop crazy things all day long. And maybe he's really not as powerful as Democrats fear if he's got a bunch of people around him who are not indulging his nutty whims. No, look, I, I think that the truth is when That's the president asks... Well, when the president asks for something to get done, I believe it gets done. And there's multiple ways Would to get things accomplished. Would that have been obstruction if he had gotten those things done when he asked you and Rick Dearborn and others to shut down special counsel, limit the scope, or fire Jeff Sessions? Would that Look, have been instruction? I, I, I'm not an attorney, so I can't answer that question in the eyes of the law, but what I can tell you is this. The president, as the leader of our country, has the opportunity to fire those people who work in the administration. That's, that's unequivocal. And if you're firing those people for a good cause or a reason, that's perfectly lawful and legal to do, and so there's no question about that. And just to be very clear, 
The president never prevented Bob Mueller or anyone else on his team from looking into or doing anything. They had carte blanche op uh, opportunities to follow any rules that they wanted. What we found out about Bob Mueller was he knew very early on in the investigation that there was no collusion, but he continued to keep the investigation up well, and running. Well, it, it seems like the House Judiciary Committee should sit down with Bob Mueller because that's where their frustration stems from. It's, it's the, the contents of the report itself. It's not the redactions. There's a lot of false outrage about that. It's not with the summary that Bill Barr gave to Congress, because if he hadn't have done that, they would have called for his resignation then. It's with what Robert Mueller did or didn't find. And that part of it, where they're going after William Barr, that's the political part that will ultimately undo Democrats' good fortunes. And I, I think they're really foolish to continue with that line. Well, what, what happened is this. They were putting all of their eggs in the Bob Mueller basket. They were, we heard and it. Easter for, is over. For, right. We, hey, we heard it for one year, 10 months, and six days that mm -hmm. Bob Mueller had unequivocal evidence that there was collusion, that the president colluded with the Russians to change the outcome of the election. And then the report comes out. No collusion, no obstruction, and they didn't know what to do because for so long we heard from Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell that they've seen the collusion firsthand. Then the report comes out yep. from Mueller and says there's none, and they have egg on their face because they look like the liars that they really are. And that's what the that American means people the, have the seen. The eggs in the basket broke, and that means on their salmonella. Face. Absolutely right, you Corey Lewandowski. Don't eat raw eggs. <laughs> don't. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you.